And finally tonight, the world's most famous ship is about to set sail again. Titanic, the musical, hits the stage in Armadale tomorrow night. History, the world's largest luxury liner and her deadly plunge to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Titanic is the most ambitious production ever tackled by the Armadale Musical and Drama Society. I don't want to give too much away, um, but it's certainly a set that really does move and um, bring the story to life. Our task was to dream upon and then create a The show entwines the personal stories of Titanic's crew and passengers. From a captain on the edge of retirement, the ship's maiden voyage was one he couldn't refuse. But this was the largest ship that the White Star Line owned, probably the largest moving man-made object in the world. There's Kate McGowan, an Irish immigrant sailing to a new life in New York. and the poorer passengers whose fate was sealed by their class. There's a lot of us on board and we're the ones that suffered. We went down the first class, lots of the first class women were saved, but unfortunately us third class were locked down below. The show's taken hundreds of hours work, the 380 pieces of costume on loan from the Sydney production. We're very fortunate to get them because they're incredibly beautiful, about a million dollars worth of costumes. With a cast of 70 and a full orchestra, the show lives up to its name. A lot of big choral parts, a lot of big singing. Uh, the orchestra is amazing, just beautiful, moving music with big ebbs and flows. The curtain goes up tomorrow night. Maxine Cooper, Prime News. Hey!